So last year I made a video going over my entire sealed Pokemon card collection at the time. And the main purpose of that video was to see if they'd go up in value in 2024. So let's find out. And before we get started I want to quickly say this is not one of those buy these products to make money or these products will go up the most type of video. I just like to collect stuff and one of those things are sealed Pokemon card products. And you know, Pokemon cards and money are pretty much synonymous. And seeing the vast majority talk about individual cards and how much they're worth made me curious about sealed products. So I figured I'd make these two videos going over my own sealed collection to see how much they'd appreciate in value in just one year's time. And who knows, maybe I might give an update on their value in about five years. Maybe. Depending on how well this video does. So stay tuned to the very end to find out what I mean by that. But other than that, let's now get into the most important part of this video. How much is my sealed Pokemon card collection worth now in 2024? And I'll be starting off with the Arceus V figure collection box. And when I first bought it, it was around $24.99. And in last year's video, it was $34, around $34.88. But as of right now, at the time of recording this video, it's around $42 to $49. Bucks. But keep in mind for all of these prices and boxes that it's the internet, I'm pretty sure there are places that are selling it for way more, or even cheaper. And if you know a place that's selling them for cheaper, for any of these, let me know in the comments down below. And now moving on to 25th Celebrations. And the products I have from this set are the Pokemon Center ETB, the Pikachu V Union, and the Zacian V Deluxe Pin Box. And as for the Deluxe Pin Box, when I first bought it, it was $19.99. And in 2023, it was around 33 bucks to $40. And surprisingly, at the time of recording this, it seemed to have gone down a little bit. So it's around 31 to 38 bucks, but still worth more than what I bought it for. And as for the Pikachu V Union, I bought it for $29.99. And as of last year, it was around 29 to 34 bucks, but now goes for about 37 to $40. So that one definitely did go up. And as for the Pokemon Center ETB, I originally bought it for $64.99. And as for last year's video, it was around $98. And as of right now, it's kind of a wide range of $105 to $120, but did go up in value. I also want to say some people online said holding or keeping 25th celebrations that they wouldn't go up in value. I heard that and I just found that kind of weird. I'm like, what do you mean they won't go up in value? I mean, they won't go up thousands, but I feel like they definitely will go up unless they reprint. And if they reprint, then who knows? I might do more openings. But anyways, moving on to Shining Fates. Okay, quick disclaimer, Shining Fates is very accessible, very easy to buy anywhere. So for the ETV, it's still regular MSRP $49.99 or even cheaper in some places. But like I said, I just like to collect, so... That's why I have it in my collection. Same with the Pikachu V-Box. And you know, I thought I was going to say the same for the Dragapult and Crobat V-Boxes, but those actually kind of went up a bit. And you see, when I bought the Dragapult box, I think it was around $39.99 and is now around $46. And as for the Crobat, I bought it for around $39 and is now worth $42.98. But again, for these, I'm positive you could probably find these cheaper somewhere else. And if you find these along with the Gossip Floor and Cramorant V tin box, please let me know. Those are the only two from the set I need to open. Because the last Shining Fates I opened was the Bolton V tin. And that video should be up now. And now moving on to my first purchase, getting back into Pokemon cards. And that is the Pikachu and Zekrom tag team box. Okay, and to explain this one, I explained this in the last video, but... When I bought this one, it was around the time where buying Pokemon cards was just almost impossible. Like, no one had anything in stock. So, when GameStop had this one, it was around $59.99. And let me tell you, since then, the price has just dropped. I mean, I think at two months ago, I saw it go down to even $29. But that's the thing. When I first bought it, it did go down in value. So, when I saw it go down a lot, or even just a little bit, I went, you know what, I'm just going to hold on to it and not open it that's why I've never made an opening for this box and in last year's video it the price pretty much fluctuated between $42.39 or $29 but a little surprising as of right now it's around $50 but then again you can find it for a little cheaper oh and also but I don't know what that means for mine 
because in my last video people pointed out that mine is a little different mine comes with three evolving skies packs while others that you see online apparently only come with two so that was another reason why i haven't opened this one yet but who knows i might open it stay tuned till the end of the video to find out and if you have seen last year's video you're probably wondering at this point where the evolving skies etb is well i sold it yeah i know i know but you have to understand after making that video i found someone who wanted to buy it for a little more than double what i paid for so pretty much a hundred bucks and keep in mind i got mine pretty cheap and you know not bad not bad for an etb i know it's evolving skies and it's worth a little more than that now but ever since the evolving skies and fusion strike controversy i guess i'll say you know people stealing cards off the line ever since that happened i've just been looking at evolving skies a little differently whether it's true or not keep in mind i sold it before all that happened so i'm definitely not missing it to be honest but also the money from that evolving skies etb i used to start collecting crown zenith and if you've been watching my channel, then you probably know or have seen my obvious obsession with Crown Zenith. Which leads me into the boxes that I collected this year that weren't in last year's video. And to no one's surprise, they are all Crown Zenith products. The first one being the Pokemon Center Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Box Plus that I got for $64. And as of right now, it's kind of going for $120 to $129. Yeah, not bad, not bad, even though the one I opened was a little lackluster, but... And the other two products are the Shiny Zacian and Shiny Zamazenta Premium Figure Collection boxes. That I both got for $59.99 each. And as of right now, the Zacian one is going from $65 to $71, while the Zamazenta is kind of going for $49 to $65. Plus $9 shipping if you're on TCG Player. Or there's a buy them both for 98 bucks plus 14.99 for shipping. But yeah, for those, I definitely see the ETB going up more in the future unless they do another print of the Elite Trainer Box Plus. As for the Zashin and Zamazenta, who knows? They might go up and they might go down. Who knows? Oh, and as you've probably seen from the thumbnail and the beginning of the video, two Pokeball tins. Yeah, those two are from the Costco bundle. You know, the Maridon and Karidon boxes. I just haven't gotten around to opening them yet. So stay tuned for an opening of these two right here. And there you have it. My collection did in fact go up in value in just one year's time, albeit not a lot. But heck, who knows? One of these might tank in value by tomorrow or even double in value in a couple hours. But like I said, I don't really collect for monetary reasons. But you know, if someone were to offer me double for what I paid for one of these, Anyways, on to the announcement that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I will open my entire sealed collection if this video gets at least half a million views before 2025. Impossible, I know, so I will also throw in if this video gets at least 100,000 views before 2025. I will make a poll in the community tab of my YouTube channel and the top two most voted items from my collection will be the ones that I open. And why am I doing this? Because content. So now it's in your hands, and if you want to see this happen, be sure to like, comment, share, and most importantly, smash that subscribe button. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and see you in the next video.